arrived at our Bali accommodation in Lavina. I know, I thought that. It looks well deep. I could do some more diving. Yeah. It's very nice. We're in like a little apartment. It's like a, it's like a room. It's like a room in a room and little hut. It's very nice. Um, but yeah, we just travelled from uh, Kuta this morning. We got like a private car to take us up here. It was like a three hour drive. And it cost us up like, £13 something each, that all together. So between three of us, it wasn't bad. Obviously, if you're doing it on your own, it might be a bit more pricey, but still, it was only like 30 something pounds to be driven in like a car for three hours, which was good. Um, it did rain a lot on the way here, but the, the weather here looks nice, and also the weather forecast here for the next week, which is how long we're here for, is good. So that's good. Um, I think we're gonna have a little swim. It's actually, what time is it? Like half five? 26. So we're gonna have a little swim, then we're gonna probably have a shower, get changed and go for some tea, go look at the beach and stuff, see how you book the sort of dolphin thing that you can go on here. But yes, we've had two travel days basically, so I'll be ready for some fun tomorrow and the rest of the week. Hello and welcome to my Bali Come on, well, this is all ours. Also look at the sun. Stunning. Come in. Room. And, and there's a bathroom. That's always handy. It is. We love it. Show us the bathroom. Giant wet room. Giant wet room. It's called Puri. 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 Bali Hotel, I think, in Lavina. Uh, so far, so good. We'll let you know by the end of the week if we'd recommend. Just come out for tea, had a little walk around, settled on this hustle and bustle. It's very quiet in Lavina. I think it's because it's the start or end. Start of rainy season maybe. Yeah. Um so quiet. I think we're gonna do well might as well do that guys. Dolphin trip. We've not seen anyone else have we? I know, yeah. When? Tomorrow. Oh we go to bed at a decent time. So we're gonna do the one when you hold on to the boat. Um, it originally you said 200,000 but then you said 175 or for a, a private boat 500 but it's quite nice to do it with other people and it's like a group of six so it's not that many so I think we're going to do that tomorrow possibly give them a message or should we just go and see it on the way past might as well I've ordered bruschetta and fish tacos Molly's ordered pasta uh, yeah creamy mushroom pasta I'm pretty sure today. I've just seen that chef smoking and now he's immediately cooking our food so that's great. Great to Spending our Monday morning, it's 8.20am, we came out at 6, just driving back on the, on the front of a boat. You know what I'd rather be doing on a Monday morning? It's all working. Let's please. Hello, um, I hope you can see me okay, it looks a bit dark. Anyway, um, I know I did a little clip on the boat about the dolphins, but oh my god, it was honestly the best thing I've ever done in my life. It's the best thing I've seen with my own eyes. It was incredible. Um, it costed us about £9.70, like the equivalent money, 
um, and we were about with four people. Um, it had the ropes where you could hold on and get in the water, but I will say that is not for the week. <laughs> I have some tips on wear a swimming costume because I'm wearing this bikini and my boobs were out the entire time I was in the water, but no one could see because obviously I'm just going through the waves looking for dolphins and my bikini bottoms were falling down so you, I was like trying to hold them up um, and then also number two do not take your phone in the water in one of those waterproof cases because it's just you're going so fast it's literally flapping against your chest like you can't even hold it it was quite windy today so I don't know if that affected our experience with the waves and stuff but like I was doing it and wishing I didn't bring my phone with me because I just it literally felt like it was going to detach from like the lanyard around my neck and I was like trying to hold that hold on with one hand and then like hold my pants on <laughs> and then like if my snorkel filled with water tried to like empty that it was just a fucking pain so don't bother just enjoy it with your own eyes um luckily I got to go in again so I didn't take my phone this time and held on with two hands and I was just dying laughing Molly's got a video of me I'll enter it here um of me trying to hold up my bikini bottoms whilst also nearly drowning and holding on. It was very fun, um, but yeah, the waves did make it a bit difficult to today. But it was still insane. Like from the boat at the start, there was a lot. We went for the sunrise, so I think that's the sort of appeal for people to go early. So we went early. There was so many boats to start with, to be fair, and they kept getting in the way of the dolphins. And then as time went on, more boats disappeared. So I'd say there was like. 20 boats to start with and by the end there was maybe like 8 of 10. Here she is. Repping my favourite island. Shargal. Yeah. Uh, and that's when we saw the most dolphins. There was like two pods or maybe it was just one giant pod but they were like either side of us and in front of the boat. You get closer to and them. And there was a baby. A baby trumpet. And then I got back in the water at this point when there was loads of them and it was insane like there was about 20 dolphins like swimming beneath me and then at one point they were like quite far down but I could see them and they were swimming so fast and we were going so fast on the boat and then sorry I was copying your head out and then there was like three of them swimming down like in amongst each other and it was magical it was magical I was actually like watching it like this is the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life and probably will ever see it was insane and then they'd like were coming up and then i'd pop my head up to see them jump and then like look back underneath to see them like swim back down they swim so deep though like, the water was so blue but like they went so deep that you couldn't see them except i saw some like bubbles popping up and i was like there's something down there but it was so good so definitely recommend it, it was felt like the dolphins put on a show they're like jumping you up you can see me yeah, yeah. yeah. It was still incredible. Amazing. And they looked perfectly happy, like they were just swimming and jumping and having a great time. Having a great time. But yeah, it was honestly the best. Um but we just came back and chilled at the pool, which is through there. We're gonna go for breakfast in our hotel. Breakfast. Breakfast. Not breakfast. I've had breakfast. Lunch. We're gonna do like a tour tomorrow, I think, because they offer them here that goes to like several temples and waterfalls and stuff. So yeah, that's the plan so far. We also just had a nap because we had to go for like four by six this morning. So we've just been for a massage and it was lovely wasn't it? <laughs> it was a Balinese massage and um, full body. it's just funny you just have to keep your tits out like they're like just uh, just keep your pants on and then just stand there and watch you getting dressed I'm like just get my boobs out then. When we were laid down we'd had the massage and they were like do your stomach and they just literally pulled the pulled Mine the strong asked. down. Mine didn't. Like, she just the whack the boobs out. <laughs> I was like go for it hun. Anyway, it was really nice. Um, it was 120, which is what, like, five or six, or six quid. It's beautiful. Anyway, we're off to watch Plankton. With bioluminescent plankton. We're going out into the middle of the sea at night to snorkel and see plankton. I can't even see you. <laughs> and we're scared. Phoebe's we scared of the dark. I'm scared of the sea when I can't see. So, uh, this. Ah.
Hello. It's focusing on me. I don't know. I hope this is focused on me. Basically, we're doing a little short day trip today, half day trip. I just stopped off at some rice terraces. Very pretty though. It literally is like kind of how you image Bali. It's reminding me a bit of like Vietnam and Cambodia to be fair. It's very cool. We just went to some waterfalls. I can't remember what they're called. What were they called? Munduk waterfalls. And uh, now we're on our way while well, we're here. And then we're off to a Buddhist temple, which we're really looking forward to as well. We've just been brought to see how they harvest rice. I had no idea that it looked like this, but it was fully grown. So then that's how they harvest it. That's it, that's right. But they're all harvesting away down there. One big one. I Good job. Rice. I have a few rice. Molly's got earache, bless her. She's feeling. You've got earache, uh, and she can't hear anything. It's true. Also, look at the dolphin on her tree. So actually I think mm, I don't know I feel like I haven't vlogged in ages but um, we've just kind of been chilling more this week so it's been a lot less to vlog um, but yesterday we did go on a boat tour like snorkeling mm. trip to the north west of Bali I've said this already I'm not going to repeat myself it was really good um, we saw turtles massive fish uh, the guy, however, did tell me that we've probably seen a manta ray or stingray, and then when I asked on the tour, they said it's the wrong season. 
so that was clearly a selling point uh, to the tour but we still had a great day and it was really good um, we paid 550000 for it, which equates to like £28. Um, they, they were trying to sell it to us for €60, Euro, and I was like, no. So, um, if you're ever in the position where you are wanting to do this uh, boat trip, don't pay €60, Euro, because you can get it for a lot cheaper. But I don't know if that's just because it's wet season now, but that was a really good day. And last night we just chilled and... I went for some tea near the hotel, literally watched Sun and Sunset in bed, it was actually a really nice evening with some snacks, haven't done that all on this trip yet, so it was really nice just to just fully chill out, and then today we're just having a cool day, however I did burn my entire back of my body yesterday, every single boat trip that we've been on, I burnt my back and bum from snorkelling, and I never learned my lesson to put more sun cream on, because throughout the day I look at it and I'm like, it doesn't look burnt, but then as soon as like, the day is done, I am a red as a strawberry, but I mean, I am crispy, that's how I feel, and it hurts to even lay on my back, like, because I was going to, like, tan my front today, because my front's not burnt, and it even hurts to lay on my back. briefly started talking when we were at the waterfall but then uh, we had to go so <laughs> I stopped but yeah we've just been to Erling Erling waterfalls which was so good and I definitely recommend uh, we got a grab there which was um, 80,000 from our hotel which is like four pounds I think and it's like a half an hour drive so it's not bad and then we um, you have to pay for like a package sort of thing because you have to take a guide down so we did the short day trip which is like an hour and a half to two hours um you get like a guide you make it makes donations to the village um you get to jump and slide and uh, you get a bottle of water and a guide like included in that price so we did that one which was 125 thousand each which works out about six seven six seven pounds um which was totally worth it um there's <laughs> at the first waterfall so a ling a ling waterfall you can't actually swim in it it's quite sacred and i think it's quite dangerous if to swim in it because the waterfall is so powerful um so we went and looked at that one and it was really pretty um and then the first i think it was called grain waterfall it had a five meter jump and a 12 meter slide which we did both <laughs> it was very fun i felt like when we were in the philippines and i was jumping off stuff regularly it didn't phase me as much but then now because it's been a little while since we jumped off anything I was like a bit scared um the jump was scary at first but I did it three times I think in total and the slide looked terrifying but it was so much fun we ever had the opportunity to do the slide I was like convinced it would hurt you back somehow just because it's like sliding down rocks and stuff but it didn't at all Ian hurt his elbow a bit because he didn't quite tuck him in enough but it was so good um, and then there's like a baby slide as well and then there's a 10 meter jump but he said it's quite shallow like the 5 meter jump had like 7 meters depth of water the 10 meter jump only had like 2-3 and I was like that's gonna hurt um, so I didn't do the 10 meter jump I was kind of like after a while I was like mm, should I but then just because it was so shallow I was like no, and also I was just terrified, so I didn't do it. Um, and then the 15 meter jump, um, I actually have videos of our guide doing both of them, so I'll put them in. Oh my God. <laughs> it 
it was so high, like so high. Um, I could never, my arm is aching. It was really good anyway. Um, and then we went back to the, we like swam in both of the pools of water, waterfalls um, of, the t of the two jumps, but we didn't um, obviously jump off them. And there was a little swing at the 15 meter one and then they did this little photo shoot under a waterfall, which was cute. Um, and then we went back to the five meter one and I jumped off it twice more and I would have done the slide again if he if he let us, but they have to climb up there as well and we've done it twice, so. But it was really good. Um, and then we were just thinking, oh, we'll get a Grab or a Joe get go jack back to the hotel because we managed to get a Grab here. I think most people go on scooters or like organize a day trip. Um, yeah, they weren't available anywhere. And there was like, we asked, it, there's like a little tourist center. I was like, oh, how much is the taxi? to Lavina and they were like, this guy was like 200,000 and I was like, he's just taking advantage of us because we're tourists. Because I know Gojek and Grab are cheaper anyway, just because they're big companies, but that was saying like 80,000 and he was trying to charge us 200,000. So we were like, no. But basically the guy that did our tour very kindly and another guy took us on the back of their motorbikes to our hotel for 50,000 each. Um, which was very kind of them and they got us here safely and in one piece um, which was very nice of them and it was a nice, nice journey um, but we are going to go for some lunch now we check out here tomorrow we are heading to Mount Bator, um to do the volcano hike obviously um, and stay tuned to see how bad my cardiovascular fitness is Ian's lungs are like three times the size of mine, so I feel like he'll have an advantage. I'm already making excuses for my terrible cardio, because um, I'll be embarrassed about how out of breath I get, I imagine. Anyway, it'll be good fun. Because it's quite nice. Spot of lunch at 3 p.m. Hello. Just arrived in our Mount Pato accommodation. Here's Ian. It's a cute little thing. Our bags everywhere. Uh, there's another bed here, and the bathroom is so cute. It's like a sort of outdoorsy. It's got like tiles, baths, but it's like outdoors. It's very, very cool. I don't know why I look like that in the mirror. I've got my whole top tucked into my skirt. Anyway, it's uh, let me show you out the window. Very cute little place. That is not Mount Bator. Mount Bator is over that way um but we're very close to it and the uh, guy from the hotel homestay thing is going to come and um tell us a bit more information about it at, in a couple of hours um and we're hoping to do it tomorrow morning and then just chill for the rest of today really because there's there's like nothing to do around here um it's very remote there's lots of farmers and stuff and uh, we might we'll have a walk down to there's a lake down there uh, a bit later however he did just tell us that there is thousands of flies everywhere because there's a lot out there but he said it's not bad compared to down in the lake he said there's so many down by the lake so we will see how much we can handle when we head down there later but it looks very cute so far look how pretty that's Mount Batur. that's what we'll be climbing in the morning and this is our little cabin, hut thing. It's very cute. And give us a wave. There's a lot of flies though, as I just said. You can see them maybe. Yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah. We're going to walk down to the lake momentarily. Freshest fish we've ever eaten. Look at all the flies. Oh wow, ripping into it. It's caught literally out there. Doing it again tomorrow. <laughs> it was very hard. 
uh, but I'd say worth it for however the view was yet to appear, so we'll let you know. We did see peaks of it on the way up though, and it did look very pretty. Man with the tea, with the breakfast. Oh, bang bang. Sorry, I just had a look. Bang bang. Nice. Did you finish? Yeah. There you go. This is the crater. Can't see anything. We bought a tea up here at the top of the mountain and they just said this is how they get the water for the tea. It's just like comes from the volcano and they collect them in there. How cool. Not been the luckiest with the weather but also not the worst. our little homestay bungalow after doing the Mount Patur hike and it was so good um, it was really quite hard um, but definitely achievable we stopped about four times to like catch our breath on the way up so it was fine just got that feeling you know when you like have gone for a run I'm not a runner I'm not a cardio gal I was like a gymnast back in the day and I used to go to the gym and do like weights and stuff but I was never cardio was never my thing so <laughs> I knew I was gonna struggle a bit but it was fine, I managed it, um, and it was worth it to get to the top. Um, we were in a, just a group of four, there was us two and a, another couple from this homestay. Um, and when we got to the top, there was quite a heavy cloud. And the guy was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And we were like, no, it's fine, Like it's not your fault. We still had like half an hour till sunrise officially was happening. Um, and then literally as it was sun rising, sun rising, as the sun rose, the clouds like cleared and everyone cheered and we could see like the mountain in the back background, the foreground, in the background of the sun rising and it was beautiful. Um, and then we walked around the crater, which we couldn't really see because it was still very cloudy. We were just sat in a cloud basically. Um, and then we walked um, back down and as we got lower, we could see in the crater and we could see the view from the other side. And it was just, it was so beautiful. Um, also we got breakfast, we got like a banana sandwich, which I thought was actually gonna be like slices of banana in bread, but it was like smushed and warm and it was actually really nice. Um, and then a hard boiled egg. And then um, we got a chocolate bar. There was also like a, a pudding. I can't remember the flavor of it, but it wasn't very nice. It was like monkeys up there and they stole the egg off some people and bananas and stuff and it was quite funny. They were like not aggressive or anything, so it was it was cute. Um, but yeah, it was so good. Uh, we paid four hundred and fifty thousand for ours, which was like medium tall. Uh, so you go down like a different way to the way you came up, and um, yeah, it was definitely very good and worth it. So I would recommend. We just booked it through our homestay. We're just gonna have a chill day now. I think we're gonna just lay on the grass out there in the sun, and then uh, head to the villa tomorrow in Seminyak area I think so should be good hello um, I'm just coming to you from editing and I realized I haven't got an ending for this vlog because I am splitting the Bali vlog into two or three vlogs like I did with the Philippines uh, just because there's so much footage so I hope you enjoyed this vlog the next one will be more like Seminyak uh, Kuta Changu and Ubud area if you liked it please give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe to see the next ones coming and I'll see you next time thank you